Hey guys, this is Mustafa Ercan from Radar. In this video, I will try to tell about our brand new feature, which is called landing pages. And I will try to explain how you can use it and how you can create uh, a landing page uh, with it. Uh, before that, uh, if it's your first time at here, please don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel so you can get notified when we publish new training video. So, if you are ready, let's jump over the dashboard and check the all details about uh, landing pages feature together. To create a landing page, you should navigate to Utilities, then switch the Landing Pages section. And in this area, click the New button uh, to create a new landing page. You can choose a blank template or you can choose one of uh, pre-ready templates. We are planning to bring more uh, pre-ready templates. Also, if you prepare uh, some templates, uh, please share with us and we can make it public uh, for everyone. Uh, for example, I'm choosing a pre-ready template uh, this case and clicking the next button and uh, in second step you can type a page title for your page, for example my first page. Uh, also you can uh, you can choose a custom domain if you already connected, uh, like uh, there are some connected uh, custom domains in our account, or you can simply use our default uh, domain and you can you can type a uh, custom suffix for your URL, for example, my first page and click the create button to create your first landing page. As you can see, uh, the information is already uh, updated, like page title and the URL, and also selected uh, pre-ready template loaded in the editor. And after this point, you can customize this template. For example, if you like, you can change image by double-clicking on it, or you can change the texts. something like this and you can save this template and you can click the preview button to see how uh, your audience will see this page uh, actual page uh, you can clear all these uh, uh, templates by clicking the clear canvas button and you can prepare your own template by using uh, blocks pre-ready blocks for example, right now I will drag and drop a container and then I will select this container and switch to Style Manager tab and uh, I will scroll down and expand the dimension panel and I will set uh, 600 pixels for, for width uh, of this uh, container. Then I will duplicate this container like six times. Okay. And switch back to uh, blocks tab. And right now I will use some tabs to design my page. For example, I will drag and drop an header. And uh, I will double click on it to change the text. Okay. And then I will switch to settings tab and in this tab you can change some settings uh, of your uh, block elements. Uh, for example, you can choose H2 for size of the header or 3 or 1. And also you can use uh, bootstrap com compatible settings options. For example, for color you can choose success and uh, for alignment you can choose center like this and switch back to uh, blocks and for second container i will drag and drop an image element and i will upload another image and choosing this one and by double clicking and uh, when this image is selected switch back to uh, style manager 
then I will set 100% for width to fit inside the container and switch back in to uh, blocks panel and drag and drop image box elements and double clicking on the image and choosing the first image and uh, also I will drag and drop another image box element and double clicking on the image and uploading another image and also I will drag and drop this image to right to create an asynchron design and uh, for uh, also I will add an countdown uh, before the footer and when I choose countdown element I will switch uh, settings to set a date for countdown like this okay and final thing uh, I will drag and drop a footer element in here and again I can customize these by changing the uh, Texas and also the uh, ash, uh, href URL, the redirect URL, for example. Okay, yeah, um, yeah, basically, you can use this editor like this, and also, if you like, you can you can use your own code uh, by using the code uh, element and when you drag and drop this code element you will able to type your uh, HTML code uh, inside here and when you click the save it will uh, be displayed in in here also you can always uh, take back your changes by clicking the undo button yes like this and also you can edit the uh, source code by clicking to this uh, edit source code and you can add some other uh, style codes, CSS codes and also uh, other uh, HTML codes. Uh, you can customize by typing uh, codes if you have coding skills. Yeah, that's all. You just click the uh, preview button to see final version of our page yeah as you can see it's already uh, same uh, what we see in the uh, editor okay also there's a settings tab uh, when you switch that uh, settings tab you can you can enter some information related with your page like you can change the page title or you can type a page description or keywords uh, these these are mostly related with search engines also you can change the custom domain and custom suffix uh, as you like also you can choose a uh, robot index option like uh, index and no index uh, also follow and no follow to to say that to search uh, engines um, index this page or don't index and uh, also you can upload and preview image for if someone share this page your page on a social media platform uh, this uh, preview image will be displayed on that platform and also you can upload an uh, FAW icon and when you upload a FAW icon uh, uh, your uh, um, the browser tab icon will uh, change with this image also there is another uh, uh, tab it's called tracking codes uh, when you switch this tab you can enter google tag manager code or google analytics uh, tracking code or uh, meta uh, or x uh, facebook pixel code or Yandex Metrica code. If you enter these tracking codes, you will able to track uh, your uh, visitor uh, analytics via these these services. Uh, yeah, and also if you like, you can copy the link of the page, or you can create a QR code for this URL. Uh, also, you can duplicate this uh, template. 
Yeah, as you can see, uh, landing pages feature is a little bit complicated feature. That is why it's really hard to explain every detail in this short video. So uh, please take a write and try to explore by yourselves. If you have any feedback, please share with us. I hope you enjoy with this video and I hope you can take a benefit of this feature. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye bye.